what's up guys back again with another video so this episode I'm gonna be teaching you about uh, inheritance in the classes and uh, yeah how it works and how to use it everything like that so anyway so yeah inheritance what is inheritance inheritance is when one or more classes take on the attributes of another class so for example you have a the a class that you make its name is dog and then you give it the attributes of the class animal and that actually makes sense because animals they all have something in common but dogs and cats don't have stuff in common exactly they have specific things that cats don't have and cats have things that dogs don't have but then again all animals have stuff in common so they should have something from the animal class also so it's hard to explain i'm not good at explaining stuff but anyway so um this is also created uh, a hierarchy for us so like animal here that's the that's a class right and then we have these two subclasses um the dog class and the cheetah class and the cheetah has stuff unique to it, and the dog has stuff unique to it, but they also share stuff from the animal class. So they, they, they're alike, but they have unique stuff to it. So hopefully that helps a little bit. So this is how inheritance works. You have a, what's it called, a super class. That's the class that um, the attributes will be inherited from. And then you have the subclasses, which are like the dog and the cheetah, you know, the ones that are inheriting the classes. I mean, the attributes from the class, the super class. So this is called super, So um, and this is called sub. It doesn't have to be super or sub, it's just what they're called. And um, so if you want this one, if you want your other class to inherit the attributes of the super class that you want it to be, just all you have to do is extends and then give it the name of the super class. So yeah, we'll go over that more. We're gonna be coding soon. And actually we're gonna do that right now. So let's go code. Okay, so once we're in here, we can do some coding. So let's go ahead and create a new class, class uh, vehicle. We'll call it vehicle, cause yeah. And then um, inside of the vehicle class, we'll have um, hmm. Let's give it a string name, so the vehicle will have a name, and then we'll have it in speed. So all vehicles have speed, and all vehicles have a name. Okay, all right. And then we'll have another class here. We'll call this class class uh, car. Okay, and then likewise, we could have another one called class spike or something like that, you know, uh, or motorcycle string. Um, so what, what can we do here for the car? We could have, yeah, string vehicle type equals car. So we'll set that one right off the bat because we know for sure it's going to be a type of car because it's in the car class. And then we'll have another thing here. Let's just do int uh, number of wheels. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So in this main vehicle class, we can have some stuff. So let's have um, a constructor. So let's have... Um, hmm. Actually, no, let's make our getters and our setters. So generate getter and setter. There we go, so that's all that. And then we'll just put this down here. And so we're gonna generate some uh, stuff here. So vehicle, and then uh, our constructor will have, um, you gotta give it a name, so string name, and then int speed. Those are our parameters, right? And then we'll do this dot name equals name, and then this dot speed equals speed. So right now we're just saying regular stuff that we already learned, right? And uh, yeah, so um, now with that, we can do um, some stuff. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make another, let's make a method. So we have our constructor, but let's make a, a method. So this method will do, um, hmm, yeah, we'll do this. So void um, display basic information. And what this one will do, will display all the information that we have on that vehicle. So, um, so we'll do out vehicle name, and we'll put this dot name, and then vehicle speed, and then vehicle, oops, this dot speed. Awesome. So that should work. So whenever we call that, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a car. Um, so new vehicle. Oh no, <laughs> what am I doing? So vehicle, uh, we'll get a name of um, uh, 
Fred, Fred the vehicle equals new vehicle, right? And then it wants us to pass two parameters, the name and the speed. So name will be um, Ford F-150. I think that's like a truck or something, some Texas stuff. And then um, the speed for that vehicle will be uh, 40. I guess that's miles per hour, whatever. And um, yeah, so now we can do we can do some regular stuff with this. We can do South Fred dot uh, get name, of course, which works Ford F one fifty, right? Um, or we can just call the method that we made uh, display basic information, of course. Uh, why is there error here? We have an error. Oh right, because we're outputting um, in the in the method, so it's kind of redundant to have it inside of an output. Yeah. So yeah, let's do that. So yeah, we get the information here. So I mean, it's a basic method. It works. It works. And uh, so yeah, let's do something with the car class now. So with the car class, we can do we can make this a subclass of this. This is going to be a superclass, and this is going to be a subclass. So extends, and then. We got to do extends a vehicle, so the class name, right? Oh, we got an error here. No default constructor available. Well, that's because um, later on we're going to learn about super, uh, the keyword super. So it's going to have a little error here right now. So what we got to do is make this a, we're going to um, override this. I think we should do it like this, a so vehicle. So it wants us to make something for like when it doesn't, when we don't provide um, parameters basically. Because when let's say we declare a new car, right? And the car is extending the vehicle. So whenever you declare a car, you also have to declare um, these two also because it's inheriting these, it's inheriting those. So um, yeah. So anyway, so vehicle. Let's say we don't have any of those. So this dot name will equal um, unnamed, unnamed. I'm not sure if I spelled that right, a new vehicle. And then this dot speed. If it doesn't have one, we'll just set it to zero. So that should fix the problem right there. Good. So it fixed it. And uh, yeah, so extends vehicle, right? And then let's go ahead and put our getters and setters for this one. Right, so that's all that crap. And then, um, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. We can. Um, so with this, now that we inherited the superclass, and this is our subclass, what can we do? Well, we can um, we can call any method that's inside of here. Um, yeah, so we can, or we can call any um, variable that's inside of here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do void uh, display um, advanced information. And this will provide some more um, detailed information about our car. So this will do south. And we'll copy this actually right here. Okay. And so already right off the bat, we don't get any errors, right? We didn't even declare a name thing in here. So why is it working? Well, because we declared it up here, we declared a name, right? So it works all the same way because it's inheriting, right? So we can access any variable that's in the inheriting the super class. So it works. That's pretty cool. So um, you don't even need this here, I believe. You don't even need that because, you know, it knows. So, I mean, that works. Um, so, yeah. Um, now let's add our other stuff that we, that we have inside. So we have these two. We want to add these two to here. So that's all fine and dandy. That's easy. So um, vehicle type. And then... Um, number of wheels there we go hopefully that worked so yeah um, that should work I'll find it dandy so let's go ahead and try that out um, let's see Fred dot display advanced. we don't have display advanced information because don't get mixed up here we declared a vehicle not a car so vehicle can't inherit anything that comes from car. Car can only inherit anything co that comes from vehicle because that's the superclass. So anyway, so to fix this or whatever, we can declare a new car. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so car fred2 equals new car. 
So what does it want? It doesn't want any parameters. Okay. So that's actually a problem because up here, um, we never made a constructor. So we want it. Well, we want it to ask us for parameters because if we don't, then these are going to be empty except for vehicle type. So let's go ahead and make a constructor. So uh, car uh, ints number of wheels and write this dot number of wheels equals number of wheels. Great. So now we can set the number of wheels. Great. Um, so yeah, that works. That works. Um, and that should be good. And um, let's say, hmm. We what we could also do is uh, ask it for, um, yeah, yeah. Because we if, if we don't ask it for the um, the two variables up here, name and speed, when we're creating a new car then it's going to set it to the defaults that we set here, um, unnamed vehicle and zero, because we're not asking for it, so it doesn't even know what to start from. So what we can do is to um, ask for them up here in our um, parameters, right? So int, int, uh, what's it called? What was it called? Name, oh, string name, and then int speed. So string name, int speed. Great. So now what we're doing is asking for two parameters, name and speed, and then we're going to set them equal to, um, this dot name we can access name because it comes from of course the superclass right equals name oops ah error what's the wrong okay we're good and then this dot speed equals to speed oops i spelled speed wrong so that all works now so now we won't have an empty um we won't have to call the default constructor basically so that's all good and we didn't we probably don't even have to have this anymore because Oh yeah, we do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, it's smarter than us. Um, the ID. And so yeah, let's go ahead and make a new car now. So car. Now it's going to start asking for stuff. So we we need we need a vehicle name. So Ford um, is going 50 miles per hour, and um, number of wheels four because it's a car, right? <laughs> so or a truck, whatever. So Fred two. Now what we can do. We can do many things. So Fred two, we can display the basic information because we're calling that from the the super class, right? Display basic information, and we can display the advanced information because this is a car, right? So we can do both. Anything com that comes from the super class, we can call it. But anything that comes from the car class, of course, it's a car, so we can call those too. So let's go ahead and run this. So we'll get vehicle name, forward vehicle speed. I mean, everything works, right? Awesome. So. Yeah, so um, the only problem I would see that, uh, let's see, let's go back here and let's get rid of these two, right? And let's get rid of that too. So let's say we only provide the number of wheels, right? Let's see what happens. Hopefully you know what happens, but let's go ahead and run this. We'll get the default parameters because we're not providing any information to the, the subclass, so it's going to call on uh, call upon the superclass's uh, default constructor, and it's just going to use the default uh, parameters that we set, or our values, whatever. But um, we did provide the uh, these two variables, so we're good to go on this end. But for the so for the superclass, uh, we didn't provide anything. So yeah, um, so yeah, I hope this is not too confusing for you guys. Um, so yeah, so now once we figure out that we can now inherit stuff, right? Um, what we can do now is um, we can set things to be private. That's there's a keyword called private, right? So let's say we do private private and speed. That means that this is you can only access this variable inside of the class uh, vehicle. Even though the subclass is inheriting vehicle, it won't be able to access speed because it's private. So that's why people use private. So the subclass won't inherit it no matter what. So let's go back here and let's set. Um, Let's try doing, or no, let's just go down here. Let's do Fred2 to dot get speed. And we should get an error because we can't call upon speed anymore. Yeah, we get an error because, yeah, right here, advanced information, we already have an error because we can't call speed anymore. It's private. We can't access it inside the subclass. We can only access it inside of the uh, superclass, our vehicle class. And we know that because, you know, it's not an error here, of course, because it's inside its own class. But down here in the subclass, we can't access it anymore. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, so, private, you know, you just play around with that. Um, so, again, if you just remove private here, then everything will be cleared up and we're good to go because now I can access whatever it wants from the superclass.
So anyway, um, the point is um, you have classes and they can inherit super classes and all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you need help. I did struggle explaining it, but oh well. And subscribe if you want to see more. And peace.